Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. Last we left off, we were pestering Joey for information about both our grandmother and our Auntie Lauren. Unfortunately, we have exhausted all dialogue options in that regard. For now. You coming? Yeah, sure. But we did get a couple of leads by doing some research at home on the computer. So, let's see, is there anything new that we can learn from Nishanti? Just to pester her a little more. Come in! This is all about pestering, you know. Hello again, Rosa. Come in! She just walks right through Joey. Moti, be nice! Just one moment. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity! Jerk! I'm at a loss. He never acts like this. Never. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, let's see. Let's feed the duck. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Modi? Here, take another. I have plenty. It's Moti. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. So, let's give the dog biscuit to the dog. Oh. Hmm, these dog biscuits are really mushy. Huh. Interesting bit of uh, information. Okay, so I guess to feed the dog. Click on Hey, the dog. boy. Ah, for the treat. For having Go to put it. up with Joey. All right. See ya. See ya. And Let again. Yes, you're hungry again. Even though I just gave you a treat. Go get it. <laughs> Silly dog. All right. It was very sweet of her to let us feed her dog like that. Ah, did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> Jerk. So, let's see, a couple of uh, hints here. We got the hint about the Ouija board. So let's talk with Allie about Ouija boards, shall we? Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Hey there. Remember me? No. no. Maybe. Hmm. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore. But he did something to me. He'll go away. Hmm. Well, let's ask. Why are you interested in Ouija boards? Ouija boards? I hate them. Why do you have to bring that up? I had a Ouija board once. No. Next thing I knew, everybody went away. I had versus I knew a Ouija board once. How does one get to know a Ouija board, I wonder? Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little Lady Lee, always neat and always fair, won't say much, but you're- All right, all right. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. You okay, dokie. <sighs> you all right? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. That's encouraging. Well, one of the other clues that we were given was that Susan is at the psychiatric hospital. Let's see if we can go and visit. Ask about Susan Lee. Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. Hmm. Can we see her? May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list, uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. Uh-huh. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... Um... <laughs> you can blame the system, blame the memory, blame the card, blame Susan, or just accept your losses. Um... 
I'm not gonna blame Susan, that's just that. I gave you the wrong name. You did what? Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry, it's a character in a play I'm in. Uh-huh. Ugh. That's the best you could come up with? Really? Shut up, Joey. Well, what is your name? Uh... <laughs> Let's tell him our name is Ouija Boards. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do that because nothing we have here is going to work anyway. <laughs> That's not relevant. <laughs> That's not relevant. My name is Susan. My name is Susan Lee. <laughs> your name is Susan Lee as well? <laughs> uh, yes. Right. Well, you're still not on the list. <laughs> what are you thinking, Del? <laughs> That's a good question. Thanks. Uh -huh. My name is Susan Lee, too. <laughs> All right. Well, there's really only one way to get in. But this is a bit interesting. Because there's Alexander Dal Davenport, who is Susan Lee's boyfriend, as far as we can tell. And he would probably be on the list to get in. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if he'll believe that I'm a man. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. You're not on the guest list. Yeah. Oh, well, that's because... I gave you the wrong name. Right. You did. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Right. Real. Well... Let's try. I can't use that. That's a man's name. Oh. <laughs> we can try Joanne. My name is Joanne. Sorry, there are no Joannes on the guest list. Hmm. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. Okay. Thanks. Uh-huh. So that's a man's name. But it's rather interesting about, say, the gender ambiguity of certain names. Like Adrian is a male, but lives on a girl's floor due to a technicality. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Hmm. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you. Again. Oh, that's... Yeah. I gave you the wrong... You did what? Yeah. Gave the wrong... It's... How many yeah. times is he going really? to buy this? Well... Let us see. Alex Davenport. My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. And that's, you know, old school puzzle solving. Sort of. Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... They told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? Mm, not exactly, no. No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. So how are you feeling? Fine. That's all. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's ask her opinion on certain things. Do you know Joanne's roommate, Kelly? Yeah, sorta. Why? Oh, no reason. Yeah, you have really no reason to ask that. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Sort of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. That's all. Hmm, she's not exactly being very forthright, is she? Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. No, huh? Susan, can you tell me why you're here? What happened? Nothing. Just... nothing. Can you tell me anything about Alex? He... I don't know. He's nobody. Just some guy. Nobody. All right, well. Do you know anything about Ouija boards, Susan? Susan? They... Susan? Nothing. All right, well, then that's working. Who is the deacon? 
What do you mean? The deacon, Susan. He's nobody. Nobody. That was really quiet. Who is the deacon? What? The deacon. He's nobody. All right. Same bit of dialogue there. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Susan? She just did. Don't know why. Hmm. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. She's being awfully... reticent about everything. Not being very good about talking about it. Joe! No! Shh. You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. Ah, I'm not going to get that achievement now. Whoa! Okay. Hold on. You want to go in, I... All right, all right. Let's get you cleared again. I'd like to see... Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Excellent. That was an odd kind of walk. Well, let's see. Hi, Susan. Let's try. So, do you like Bellevue? It's okay. I used to come here every week. To visit my aunt, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just saying, I've spent a lot of time here. You don't have to be scared of me. Hmm. Susan, can you tell me why you're here? What happened? Nothing. Just... All right. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you. Mm-hmm. Well, she doesn't seem to want to talk about anything relating to her experience. I wonder what it is that's affecting these girls, other than this deacon figure. Alright, Joey. Joey? What I got is it, some dear? questions. Can you tell me any more about Auntie? Can you tell me more about Auntie Lauren? I guess. What do you want to know? I don't know. Um, tell me about a case you went on. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but I do remember one. There was this brownstone down in Brooklyn, one of those fancy houses that got converted into apartments. The residents kept complaining of weird noises and bad dreams. Your aunt and I heard about it and went over there. Turns out, these two little boys had been locked in a basement closet over 30 years beforehand. Oh my gosh. The door was paved over. Nobody knew it was even there. Those two little ghosts had been crying in the dark for 30 years until we came along. That's horrible. Yeah, that, that was a messy one. How did you save them? We did some snooping, found the grandmother, brought her to the house. The boys calmed down and we took care of the rest. So you saved them? Yeah. We had no choice, did we? Hmm. Anything else? Do you remember when that picture was taken? Picture? Yeah, the one on the TV. Oh, the Brooklyn Bridge picture. You don't remember? I was five years old. Right, right. You tend to forget stuff like that when you're... Well when you're me. So what about the picture? Oh, it was just one of your aunt's little field trips. One of many, I hasten to add. She wanted to take you all over the damn city and I could do nothing but tag along. Really? Yeah. I knew it was a bad idea. Why is that? Just leave it. But... Shut your mouth, kid. You're attracting flies. Ooh. We'll talk about this later. Maybe. And Grandma? I'd like to talk about my grandmother again. I'll be frank, kid. She may have hated me, but I hated her even more. Hated her. The whole seven months I was with her, she spent the whole time pretending I wasn't there. Can you believe that? You're hard to ignore, Joey. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> and I did everything I could to get her attention. I'd yell in her ear, I'd get right up in her face. She knew I was there, and I knew she knew. But she just ignored me all the same. Well, you can hardly blame her. Don't lecture me, dollface. I did what I had to. Had to? You could have... Could have done what? Look, I'm done talking about that old bat. Maybe we'll talk more later, but not now. You want to say anything else about Auntie? Let's talk some more about Auntie Lauren. Like I said, kid, later. Right. We've got stuff to do first. All right, all right. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Let's see. I only hope that Susan doesn't meet the same fate as her two friends. Yeah.
I know Allie was interested in Ouija boards, but what about her friends? Hmm. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I know Allie was interested. Hmm. You coming? Yeah, sure. And on that note, we're actually out of time for this installment of Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. But I hope to see you next time, where I continue unraveling this mystery about what happened to these poor girls, their involvement with the Ouija board, and this deacon character. Hmm. Hope to see you then. <laughs>